Let's add random to our engine. So we could add ju just a disclaimer so you guys don't be like all crazy on me. We could add just use the the you know the at rand that like the random the rand and C. We could use that pretty much like this. We set the seed and then we do the rand. But in order to learn, we're going to implement our own random our random stuff. Let's do a counter. Let's see how much time it takes for us to, to, to write that. We're going to do a XOR shift algorithm, right? For number generator. And the idea is super simple, man. We have like this state, which is like an integer. Right? And whenever you want a random integer, we just do this. That's really it. Yeah, that's the thing, man. When I start studying that, what it actually takes, it's really simple. I mean, of course, you can do like way better and do like CMD and a more random distribution and do like a truer random algorithm, things like that, a more random than this random. But it's great just to know what actually goes on inside the, the random algorithm function. So this algorithm is a very simple one that we can just start using. Really, it's really easy. So uh, we have the math.c. So we're going to do like a random. And we're going to do like next random. And we are going to have like a global seed for now. Uh, or maybe we should just call like random u32. Yeah, random u32. It's going to be an inline u32. And the state is going to be global for now, like random state. And we're going to start with a random seed. Right? Let's do like a. Hmm. Result equals random state. And uh, let's change x for uh, a result. And then random state is going to be result. And then we add the return result. So let us see if by just doing that, we have random numbers. Right? So, we have a start game. Let's just do some crazy th stuff here. Random U32. Let's do like 10 or so. FG. Okay. And the math behind doing all those shifts, I'm not going to pretend I understand, right? So we are one level deeper in understanding the random. <laughs> we got as far as to understand the code, but not to understand the math. If that's your thing, maybe you can do like you can do like a whole craziness thing about getting the, the math right. Yeah, reading all these articles. That's not really my thing. So first number looks random enough. Let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, let's see them all in hex. So second one. Isn't that great? Dude, that, that's pretty random to me. And then we can do all sorts of crazy stuff with these numbers. So yeah. <laughs> Done pretty much, right? <laughs> uh, and of course, we are, we are going to have to change the seed, but we're not going to do that for now. Like to do change the seed to uh, be unique per game run. We are going to do that. But for now, all we have to do is now do like helper functions. Like we can do like a random bool, 
and then we can just like return if the random u32 uh, yeah I think that's gonna be random enough let's let's test let's test let's change u32 to b32 and then let's see if we get random bulls Um, yeah, let's see. One, one, zero, 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 one, one. Pretty easy, man. And pretty cool, too. So I kind of lost it. This, the, the, the line of thought, you guys in the chat, I kind of lost it. <laughs> it's okay. Let's just finish what we're doing in terms of uh, the power ups. So, oh, we should also do like random in range. Like, uh, random int in range we pass the min and the max can we do like inclusive yeah okay we should also do like random choice that's a nice one that's basically this. That's basically a random bool, but you can change this parameter here. But yeah. So the int ram, random int in range. So we have this number goes from zero all the way to, you know, this. So all we have to do well, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna go that rabbit hole now. I think I'm just going to do like the random choice. Hmm. Chance. Which is like this. Yeah, we can do like more random stuff later, but for now. Okay, so if random choice Let's say if there's a, a there's a chance in five. If there's a chance in five of doing this, we are going to set the block. The block. Um, okay, it's an implementation of libc to reduce the writes and calls. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, I got the context. Power block. Hmm. See, now we should we should really do the random things uh, now because I have to think math a little bit more messed up. So uh, power. Yeah, I'm gonna do the random int in range. It's gonna be uh, one all the way to power count minus one. Okay. Now let's program that. I think you guys are gonna have to, have to help me help me because this is the kind of code that I usually get wrong all the time. <laughs> We're usually all the time is good, right? <laughs> Random int in range takes a min, takes a max. They're gonna be included. What is the random 32? The random u32 returns a random unsigned integer of 32 bits. So this one's our actual random. It returns everything from zero to uh, this number, right? So this is what we can use for random. So we have to use that, and we, we also we also use that to do like the random bool and random bool with chance equals zero should be the right code. Yeah, inclusive. And then we should do the random range. What do you mean what? That's what we did for the past like five minutes. We we. We came here to Pia and got a random algorithm. That's the X or shift algorithm. <laughs> because I said, okay, we could use the, the, the CRT implementation of random, but that wasn't fun enough. We wanted to know what kind of code we had to do to generate a number algorithm, right? So we got this one, which is pretty simple. All you have to do is start with the seed, right? Right now, we are hard, hard coding this seed. And then we can change that later on. 
Yeah, and then it shifts by these these prime numbers here. And uh, I don't understand the math around it, so I can't actually explain why it works the way it does. See, but uh, yeah, you can probably read all sorts of stuff about it, about it, right? And people built algorithms on top of that to be more random, but this is random enough, I think. <laughs> yeah, so this is our random algorithm. So we got this guy returns from 0 to max int at max u32. Such hacky stuff. It's not hacky, dude. That's like math. <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> but I also like it. I like this kind of weird stuff to, pre uh, to get uh, interesting results. And we tested it, and it was great. It worked pretty much randomly, I think. But now we have to change this number, which goes from 0 to this guy, to be uh, our number. So we have a range, right? And the range is max minus min. So we're going to do int result equals random u32 modulo range, right? I think that's right. And then we're going to do result plus equals min, return result. You know, I'm not sure this is correct. Um, left operand has type. Okay, so I have to call that function. Not sure this is entirely correct, but let's play around with it a bit. So here in the invader, let's do some tests. Okay, so we ha uh, we already test the random. Oh, let's test the random choice. That's like a random choice. Um, let's do like four. So it should only be true for like uh, every four times privately. And then let's do the random int in range. Random int in range. Let's do like zero, ten. Let's do a few zero, tens. Then let's do like a minus one, one. Yeah, that should be enough to test. Nine. Okay. Isn't max mean plus of exactly. See, I, I already said I got I got this wrong all the time. So max minus min plus one. You are correct. We are we were going to exclude the max. Nice call, Morpheus. So uh, when we do the create invader, let's see all these guys. So yeah, I think that was correct. We got one out of six out of seven, which sounds about one in four, right? Okay, now let's test the, the random int in range. So we had, let's change back to decimal. We had five, one, eight, five, eight, zero, one, one, zero, minus one. That looks perfect to me. What do you guys think? Now let's start using these numbers, right? Because we wrote that to use it. Okay, so you already have this system. So every five blocks, one's going to respond a random power up. It may be a power up or a power down, as we were calling it. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Okay, this is chaotic. Dude, if we thought it was hard before, <laughs> now it's like super hard. I don't think I'm gonna spa spawn power downs. <laughs> like, do we have like the last? Yeah, we have power up last. We're going to do like, just the power ups. <laughs> because wow, that was crazy. Maybe we should do like. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, got three. Yes, it's gonna be a power up festival. Yeah. 